you guys are wondering what democracy manifest is, go YouTube it. <laughs> it's what put Australia on the map. What's happening, my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. It's gonna be a quick one today in regards to rectifying some things I said in my video yesterday about my spoiler discussion and also my body count for Halloween Kills. So today we're gonna to be talking about an alternate ending as well as some amazingly awesome behind the scenes photos of Tom Jones Jr. who portrayed Loomis in the flashback scene in Halloween Kills. Now I understand some people may think this is major spoilers but the film has been out for quite some time now and Christopher Nelson, the makeup artist himself, has shared these photos on his Instagram. So they are now public out there for the world to see. I want to talk about it because it is, again, the reason why Christopher Nelson has an Academy Award. But before that, let's talk about the alternate ending. Now, yesterday in my video, I touched on the fact that at the end, when Karen meets her demise at the hands of the shape up in Judith Myers' old room in the Myers house, that it would have been great if Karen was on the phone or Laurie had called Karen and Michael picks up the phone after killing Karen and all Laurie hears is Michael's breathing. Now, I don't know if subconsciously I had heard that somewhere a while ago. I just touched on it in my video and then everyone in the comments section was saying, dude, that was actually an alternate ending that they shot and filmed and screened, but then they went with this ending. And then my good buddy and also a massive shout out to Jimmy Champagne sent me a screenshot saying that, yeah, man, that was actually the alternate ending. And Jimmy was actually the one that also showed me a message from Christopher Nelson saying, Loomis was not CGI, it was all practical makeup. So a massive shout out to Jimmy Champagne. The guy is just an absolute delight to watch and listen to. So thank you very much, sir. So in regards to the description of the alternate ending, I'm gonna be going off an article from Screen Geek. It has the best description I've seen so far of this ending. And it gave me goosebumps when I was reading it. It was so awesome. So the article goes on to say, the original ending for the film, which can now be considered an extended alternate ending, actually brings Laurie back into the mix. As noted via comic book, Laurie calls her daughter's cell phone unaware that she's just been murdered. Michael Myers picks up the phone and breathes into the receiver. It's an eerie moment, much like the original Halloween, when Michael Myers would use the landline phone to breathe in Laurie's ear. Laurie knows this sound all too well and comes to the realization realization that her daughter is dead. She grabs her knife and heads out through the hospital, ending the film there. And that is the footage that we saw in the theatrical trailers of Laurie walking out of the hospital looking like an absolute weapon holding that bloody knife. That was in the original ending and then obviously we would cut to black or cut to credits and then it would set up for Halloween ends. Now the reason why this ending was retcon is because David Gordon Green, Danny McBride, the writers of the film, they changed the time of when things would take place between Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Instead of continuing on the same night, Halloween Ends is gonna pick up four years later. And that is why that original ending could not have worked as amazing as it would have been. But the fact that we're gonna be getting that ending on the Blu-ray release, brilliant. We're still gonna be able to see it. So that has made me very happy. Now in terms of picking up four years later for Halloween ends, my brain is just a shambles. I, I'm trying to figure out how this is gonna work. Is, is Mikey Boy gonna go into hiding? How is this going to work? Obviously, Laurie has time to recover and regain her strength and get ready to take down the shape. But four years is a long time, man. Coffee. Now before I go on any further, I meant to say this in my previous two Halloween Kills videos. I want to know how Michael was able to bandage his hand up so quickly after he came out of the gun rack and then came out the front and took down the firefighters. Like his hand was just miraculously bandaged. But mind you, I can't imagine him <laughs> in amongst this inferno sitting down and trying to wrap his hand. He's just like, This is the shit I think about at 2 a.m. But yeah, going back to the article, it goes on to say, it's an equally exciting moment for many reasons, but David Gordon Green explained why the scene was trimmed. He explained that because Halloween Ends takes place four years later, it doesn't seem like a good place to end Halloween Kills. After all, it seems to imply that Laurie would now hunt down Michael Myers on the same night that Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills took place. But that obviously isn't gonna be the case if the new film takes place several years later. Either way, it's left me very intrigued but also very excited because we are going to see that alternate ending upon its blu-ray release so that is very cool now 
Moving on to the next and final topic of this video, the newly released behind the scenes photos of actor slash construction foreman Tom Jones Jr. in his Dr. Loomis prosthetic makeup by Christopher Nelson. So Christopher Nelson has released these images publicly on his Instagram for the world to see. So it's out there, it's not a spoiler. We all knew that Loomis was gonna be in this flashback scene. And there was a lot of mystery around who the actor was. And this guy hasn't really done much in terms of being in front of the camera, but behind the camera, he's done a lot, man. I'm looking at his IMDB here. His name is Tom Jones Jr. For the most part, he's involved in the art department, in the construction, as a construction coordinator. He's done Swamp Thing, Good Behavior, Under the Dome, Secrets and Lies, the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. He's even done the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film in 1990. And then yeah, right down the bottom, Halloween Kills, Dr. Samuel Loomis. He was even on The Abyss? This guy's done everything. So this is what Tom Jones Jr. looks like. This is like a perfect custom collectible. That is a good blank canvas right there. He already has the similar facial features of Donald Pleasance going on. And then we have these photos here of Christopher Nelson and his crew's amazing work. Look at this, it looks so damn good. This is Dr. Samuel Loomis right here. So in Christopher Nelson's Instagram caption, he reads, for Michael Myers Monday, I'm doing Loomis slash Donald Pleasance. No, he was not CGI. My bad. This is what happens when you trust random comments on the internet, people. But our own construction foreman, Tom Jones Jr. in an 11 piece prosthetic makeup with hair pieces. So fun to do and was a pretty quick turnaround actually from Vincent Van Dyke effects. And then Chris goes on to credit all the wonderful people who helped make these prosthetics and the hair pieces. So Vincent Van Dyke was involved as well. Again, when these two come together, they just create magic. Like you look at the effects from Halloween 2018 and they just amplified and improved upon that in Halloween Kills. So a massive thank you to Christopher Nelson for sharing those wonderful photos and brilliant work to yourself, Vince Van Dyke, and your amazing crew. Initially, when I was under the impression it was deep fake, I kind of wished it was practical effects because you know me, I love me some practical effects, ghouls and ghoulettes. So guys, I know this is only a quick video, but again, I just wanted to clear up some things from yesterday's video and also touch on that brilliant makeup work. It's just left me with my jaw on the ground. Next up, I want to see a full behind the scenes documentary of how they filmed the flashback scene and the editing and the color correction that was involved to make it look so damn good. So with that being said, ghouls and ghoulettes, please drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on how this is going to work from shifting to all being on the same night and going to four years later for Halloween ends. Where do you think the shape's going to be at and where do you think Laurie's going to be at? Now as you see right here, I've got a cheeky Wolverine cow from my good buddy Sean Reeves over in the United States. Let's just say uh, there's a certain upcoming Marvel game and I've been involved in that and I'm making a costume or two for them. <laughs> Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, ghouls and ghoulettes, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.